Hey everybody, it's Zambot, and welcome to some Magic 2014. So today I just wanted to show you one of the sealed decks I made. Uh, these deck strength things are completely arbitrary. It's like, if you have like 14 creatures, it pretty much just makes it awesome. Um, so let me show you the deck real quick. It's three colors, you just got some mana fixing. Removal, combat trick, removals, removal. Good defender, works well with Day of Judgment, which I have. These guys allow you to get in. Condor allows you to get in. These guys are good blockers. Stall the game. Removal. These creatures are good at getting in because they have flying. This has removal. This is good because it has flash and flying, which means you can play at the end of turn. This allows you to get back effective creatures, especially since uh, this is creature light deck, only has 13. Uh, then we have a fatty, you know, just need a big guy. And then a have my two bomb rares, which do very well. I'm pretty sure this deck would have been better if I used red green. Uh, there's a lot of good spells, but I really wanted to make an Esper deck, so let's show it off. I guess we'll just play the Johnny, the last guy. <laughs> That's fine with me. Hopefully a good, a good starting hand. That's the problem with the three color decks, you never know. So, see, this is really good. We got two of our lands in a way to search it out. We do have a double black spell, but that's fine, we'll get there. Um, Master Version's well, good, rock, and we have a fatty, so let's keep this, and we'll start out with the Terra Morphic. I guess we could hold, and then see if we draw another land, but I'm a-okay with this right now. And we'll search on their turn, this is how I like to do it. We'll get a planes. The chances we draw a swamp is pretty good. Or an unsummon. Sorry if there's some frame rate issues. I am like uploading a video and editing or rendering another video at the same time, so while trying to record this. <laughs> um I guess we just put down the blue so we can hold up and summon. I don't see why we would use it here. But I usually like to use it. If I need to worry about a, a war they're playing. And there we go, we got the double black. See, everything works out good. So we're going to play the one that attacks first. And even if they do play a creature, I can just tap it down. So it's not a huge issue. And then next turn we'll have removal online. Hopefully we can draw like a four drop or something. Yeah, that's kind of annoying, but we got this dude. So we play our swamp. I guess we play rock and hold up and summon, but let's attack first. Attack. Tap your duder. Your vigilance means nothing. Flying vigilance one three. Second main phase. Rock, hold up and summon. That's fine with me. This can't block because it doesn't have reach or flying, so it just isn't really doing much now, but that's okay. Alright, see, this is how we're going to get a two for one. So he's going to try to spirit mantle this, which would be rather annoying, but we're just going to unsummon now. Normally I like to unsummon before it attaches, but like the timer is kind of fast and sometimes you just miss it. Especially when you're trying to commentate, so. Alright, so we have another fatty, which is fine, because he doesn't have much pressure and we're still playing lands. We have five, so two one more land, we get this guy, which should allow us to stall for another land, so. And we got murder for anything serious. This guy can't even attack us. So it's all good. So 
So we're gonna get in here and I think we have pretty good control of the game right now. Not 100% sure what he's gonna play. Even, even if he days a judgment, I get a 3 3 flyer, so. And the Johnny likes to play days, so. Alright, well. That's a little more annoying now. Alright. So, I think the correct play here is just to play our 6 drop and then pass turn. I don't really want to trade this guy for this. He can get in really well. And they won't attack us if we have 4-6, so. Hopefully he doesn't have removal for it. If not, it's not a huge play. He'll get in for like 2 damage. And this is supposed to, this is the last boss, so he's supposed to be the hardest, but he's not doing too much now. He can block my 4-6. Oh, this is amazing. So we top deck our 7 mana. So what I think I want to do is attack with this. And he doesn't really have a good... Actually, he does not have a good attack. He only has 5 power here. so Or a good block. So if I attack here, I should be okay. Yay, 6 defense. Alright, so yeah, let's get our Rune Scar Demon, and this is why this is really potent. So now I go get my Angel, which I can cast. So, Or you can get a Rise from the Grave. Sometimes I get an Unsummon and return it to my hand and then go get another card. <laughs> which isn't the best play, but you know, sometimes you like to have the backup to save your, your Demon. But now he's got two big threats to deal with and I just don't see how he's gonna do it unless he days of judgment which is why I'm not gonna play this angel we have enough pressure on the field we don't need to um, walk into a day and we got a scorpion all right, I mean this is all good here we're just gonna attack with I think we attack with everything here that's fine with me um, if we lose our 2-2s, two not the biggest. And then we'll just make him... Basically... We'll get in 6 here. Oh, what is this? Target f Oh, no! Is he gonna claim black? What it... Let's see. White. He's gonna kill my 2-2. Two -two. But... So, we can actually do this here if we need... Now, do I want to... Probably, because it's a two for one. Yeah, because he did use that spell. That's fine with me. And really don't need to dedicate anything else to the field, so let's just pass the turn. And even if he days, we still get a three three. So we're in a really good position here. He's gonna have trouble. He's gonna attack for free. That's fine. One damage isn't gonna do anything. We have uh, his own master diversion, which doesn't really do anything. Alright, a land. Not really the most useful thing here, but that's fine. I think we're far enough ahead, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, let's tap down the flyer again. If he wants to trade his master. Oh, safe passage. So, what's this? Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you and creatures you control. Ooh. Well, there goes Master Diversion. That's okay. That was his last spell in his hand. And, let's see, we have 10. Let's put 11 power on the field. I don't know. Just let's do it. We have no way of tapping this down. But he's got a block. So we're basically just going to use creatures. Unless he has like the best top deck ever. And it's a land. So. Aw. Let me get another land. You. Whatever. 
We're good here. If you want to block this, go ahead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you gotta block both of these here. Okay. That's okay with me. You can get rid of your sentinel. Yeah. This doesn't really do much. This is a really powerful effect if they have a lot of creatures on the board and you get them in a position where they need to play more creatures to advance but in this position it doesn't really do much because he doesn't need the attack and that's just game like this is a, like yeah you're no more for you buddy this is over Alright, so we won, and that is my Esper draft deck. So let me know how you guys thought it did. And until next time, this is Mbot signing out.